This tutorial will walk you through setting up a Microsoft Exchange server account on your iPhone. We're using iOS 5.1.1, so this should work on any iPhone or iPad. We're also going to be setting up an account that is hosted by Veris Technologies Hosted Exchange Service. However, this should work in a similar fashion if you have a corporate exchange server on premise. Let's get started. Go into your settings, mail, contacts, calendars, add account, Microsoft Exchange. For your email, put in your full email address. For Averis Technologies Hosted Exchange account, the domain is blank. For the username, you're going to use your same email address, so we're just going to copy it from above and paste it here. Type in your password, and if you have multiple email accounts on your iPhone, it can be helpful to use your email address as the description. Choose Next. The iPhone will attempt to automatically configure all the server settings, and this could take a few moments. You'll see that the server field has been filled in with mail.myserver1.net. This is the correct setting for Averis Technologies Hosted Exchange account. If you do not see this, please contact our support department for further assistance. Since it did fill in, let's click Next. And now you can choose which items you would like to have synchronized with your phone. Mail, contacts, calendars, and reminders. Reminders in Microsoft Outlook are tasks. Choose Save. Okay, and now we're set up. Let's go take a look at the email. The first time it connects to the server, it may take a moment to download your new messages. It could be helpful to hit the refresh button. So there's the email from your exchange box. Let's go take a look at the contacts. There's our contact from the exchange server. And let's take a look at the calendar. There's our appointment for today. And let's go into the reminders and make sure the tasks came down. Your account is now set up. For some further configuration, you can go back in to the mail account and set things like the number of days you would like to pull. You can also tell it to push your new email so that any time a new message comes in it will automatically download to your iPhone instantly. We'll go ahead and send a test push message. 
to see how long it takes to come in. Over Wi-Fi, this would be a little faster than on the cellular network, but you can see the message just came in. This concludes our setup of the Microsoft Exchange server on your iPhone. If you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to call us or send an email to help at ferristech.com. Thanks and have a good day.